Good afternoon, traders. It's Bill Baruch with Blue Line Futures, and it's your midday market minutes. Now we're seeing equities consolidate. This morning's data, the manufacturing PMI, almost contracted. It didn't, though. You know, we've seen bad data all week, so that's nothing new. New York Empire State Manufacturing missed on Monday. Uh, Philly Fed missed yesterday. Both big misses, too. So uh, as long as this PMI number, flash PMI, did not contract, really didn't you know scare the market uh, but it was not a good number so we're seeing this consolidate we talked about the S&P on the morning Express our pivot level 29.49 29.53 that was the level to really watch if it stayed above there through the first for the intraday and through the first hour of open we are going to see this thing try and make a run at the all-time highs and that's exactly what it did uh, but really still we're neutral today because there is some geopolitical headwinds, and you can't ignore those between U.S. and Iran heading into the weekend. And it's been a heck of a heck of a run, uh, not only really this week, but basing and that bull flag that built through last week and broke out through this week. So, you know, we've been bullish, but but we felt today was a time to go neutral. Don't press the gas ahead of the weekend. There's trading opportunities, and our landscape we laid out on the Morning Express gave you those opportunities. That and also the Nasdaq, the major three-star support there held too. But don't press that gas into the end of the day. It's quadruple witching. And, you know, could see some interesting volatility or, you know, just, uh, you know, unpredictable vol volatility as well. So keep an eye on all of that. And then with crude oil, it's trading higher. I mean, this there's a path of least resistance here you can't deny. It's out above mo both layers of major three-star resistance that we had. And both of those helped define or suppress what was a downtrend. We're now out above there. Yeah, we do have resistance levels. They're on the morning express. But as long as we, we stay above 56.5, 56.80 in the near term, it leaves a path of least resistance resistance open all the way up to about 60 and a half so sixty dollars and fifty cents so uh, keep an eye on all that but a lot of that is reliant on escalating geopolitical tensions and continuing to escalate at the pace in which they are now you would have to see you know no one really wants to be short ahead of the weekend and that's keeping a bit under the market so you know if we don't see anything escalate over the weekend you could see crude fall back a little bit and it's just a matter of holding a constructive landscape when that happens and then now lastly gold and the safe havens you're seeing treasuries come in a bit here today despite the bad data feels like they're exhausted Gold, though, is holding up very well. The dollar's a little weaker. So gold staying nice, lead tethered to about 1400 which is great. Support now, 1392 Now, we do have some resistance levels to watch, but if we stay above 1392 this is a full breakout in process. Next next uh, uh, target of the upside is 1434 Give us a call. We're here to help talk about anything on the board, 312-278-0500. You can email us info at bluelinefutures.com. Check our website for updates. You can sign up for a free trial of research there. But remember, futures trading involves substantial risk of loss. It's not suitable for all investors. Thanks a lot.